Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the for loop in Angular. So we will check out the two examples: one with the normal array, and another one is the array with objects. So first of all, let's check out the points of this video. We will make a simple array, and then we will apply a for loop on it, right? Then we will make an array with object, right? And we will apply a for loop. It Uh, with the HTML table because if we are not going to use the table, then uh, it will not going to be make a particular structure. Oh, you can see that, right? So it will be a very bad UI if we are not going to use the table. So now let's going to start with the code. So I'm just going to jump on app dot component dot ts and I'm just going to define an array here. So just define an array uh, with some names, right? So I'm just going to put some name like Anil, Sam. Peter and Bruce and all, right? So four are fair enough. And now let's jump on app dot component dot html. And here, um, let's take a div for a moment, or you can just take um h four or any other element, whatever you want. And here, just write a star ng four, and uh, just simply write right here let. item this is your you can see that a uh, normal kind of variable of data and data is basically belong to this property this data property right and uh, now here we can simply use here item right and it will render the all names one by one you can see that here like uh, anil sam and all right so now let's say we have a little bit uh, complex situation we have an array but uh, let's make it array and it have objects inside it right so like name can have anil and with it it also have age can be like uh, 25 and to make it very quick i'm just going to make it copy and paste right third one and fourth one is fair enough sam and tony and kelly right so we can put a different age uh, like this so now if you will see the output of this you will find a object object here because this is a complete object property and uh, here we cannot directly render like this object property like this right so how we can do it for the change because now it will try to uh, print this complete property but we have a name and age property so we can just put here Uh, simply dot name property, right? And now you can see that we are able to name. But we also have one more property with the age. So if I'm just going to put here age, then this is not looking so cool, right? So this is a kind of bad UI. So how we can make a little bit good? I'm not going to say that this is the best. There is a lots of other way to use it, but it will be a little bit better for uh, this one, right? So now I'm just going to remove this code. Just write here a table, uh, and let's make close it, and let's provide a border for it for a moment, like one. And here use a tr, and just take td, and here I'm just going to put here name, as well as age, right? And this is a simple UI here, but we did not render the data yet. so that you can just make a copy of it paste it here and now just write here star ng4 and just tick a let item of data you know that data means here right and we have to print here name and age now so simply i am just going to put here item dot name and this right here item dot h right and uh, you are able to see that this is little bit cool right so let's say just have uh, added one more more property like email and all just write here email like xyz test.com and for a very fast i am just going to make it copy and paste uh, with a similar string right like this but we did not render the email at here so that we can make a email also like uh, 
email right but now you will see that there is no header that's why because we have only two headers but have the three normal uh, td right so that uh, you can just put here one more email and something like here and you will find it completely so this is the way that how we can use the for loop with the data with the normal array as well as uh, array of objects so if you still have any, any kind of problem you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video